In the last couple of years, we've seen some really big strides taking place here in the Middle East. The UAE, Saudi Arabia, uh, tapping into the esports scene. Um, just even recently, Saudi Arabia hosted one of the biggest esports events, uh, Gamers 8, and um, with amazing, amazing venues, uh, competitions, big prize pools, and you got the entire global scene right at the center of Saudi Arabia for this. But now, a historical first has just taken place. This is a moment in history because the International Olympic Committee has announced that the first ever Olympic esports game will take place in Saudi Arabia in 2025. You know how big this is? This is crazy because for the longest time, esports has been its own little, you know, event. Um, and, and, and now it has been recognized Esports is being recognized as an Olympic sport and it's taking place in Saudi Arabia. How crazy is this? I'm all I can say is that I'm proud. I really am. Um, and then it's an, in its announcement. The International Olympic uh, Committee revealed that this groundbreaking event is part of a 12 year partnership with the National Olympic Committee of Saudi Arabia. However, specific details such as the host city, event dates, qualification criteria for players, and the game and the game titles to be featured are yet to be finalized. Um, in a recent interview with Prince Abdulaziz bin uh, Turki Al Faisal, president of the Saudi Arabian Olympic and Paralympic Committee, he says that we are committed to hosting a special event that respects and celebrates the Olympic values while b boldly driving esports forward on the international platform that the sport and its athletes deserve. The world will have an open invitation to join us in 2025 and celebrate this moment together. Whew. Now, I'm excited for this, and I'm also even excited about some of the selection of competitive games that are going to be uh, held and hosted there. I would say a few of the partnerships that I can already imagine they will do is Rocket League, Street Fighter, Tekken, League of Legends, uh, Dota 2, Counter-Strike, and, and just so much more. But back to the historical, you know, uh, just this historical moment that now, you know, skilled gamers are being considered at the level of Olympic athletes is insane. This is a massive recognition. This is a massive step to how game culture, gaming culture has gone from this niche little, you know, hobby, um, just, a, you know, just kind of like a side passion for people to now shaping careers, shaping industries, shaping mindsets. And it has become such a massive mainstream cultural zeitgeist. This is such a big deal. And the fact that it's taking place right here in the Middle East is all the more amazing uh, for, for me and, and, and many others. Uh, I know that there is a lot of very skilled Middle Eastern gamers from 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 all from across the Gulf, across the Middle East. This could be their moment to shine. And uh, I can imagine the bragging rights that come with this. It's going to be absolutely, you know, just exciting, amazing. Um, and it's, it's definitely going to be a really amazing event all throughout. Uh, and the fact that it's taking place in 2025 means it's happening really, really soon. It might not, it seems that it's not exactly with the, the actual Olympic event that takes place. Like right now we have the Olympics 2024, this in, in Paris. So it seems like it's gonna be an entirely separate event that takes place. I don't know whether it's every year, every two years, but uh, yeah, I'm super stoked for this. It seems that Saudi Arabia has been very interested in investing into the gaming scene. And they've been doing it for quite some time, putting investments in big video game publishers, having their own video game hosting event. There's even some strides and uh, interest from the United Arab Emirates to host their own esports events as well. We've had a couple here and there, but this is so far, I would say a historical first. It's a big deal. And I can't wait to see how this is gonna shape up because it has so much potential. And the fact that now we are being recognized as 
you know, you know, skilled video gamers being recognized at the level of Olympian athletes. Guys, it's it's a, it's a moment to celebrate, for sure. But do share your thoughts and opinion on this. Would love to hear from you guys. We're gonna take a short break and coming up next, more news from the world of entertainment right here on the Evening Buzz. Stay tuned. If you liked this episode of the Evening Buzz. Drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.